I feel a pull to stand for truth. I am concerned about what Pastor Jeff is doing over at Hello Saints. The more I watch him, the more I'm convinced he is trying to undermine the faith of Latter-day Saints in favor of his evangelical beliefs. This opinion, I know, places me solidly in the minority of his viewers, who, by and large, adore him. I came upon Jeff's channel nearly a year ago, and for months lapped up his content and interviews on other podcasts. My feelings began to change when the pastor posted video reactions to First Nephi and Elder Holland's conference talk about the cross, followed by his Come Follow Me live streams. There, I saw not an interest to understand, but rather an eagerness to discount, critique, correct, and evangelize. He says he seeks to build understanding, and for months we've taken him at his word. Yet when we look past what he says to what he does, a different picture emerges. It's not to inform his understanding of our truth, but the reverse. A careful review of his videos helped clarify what he's doing and the peacemakers we should be about it. The pattern is plain. Nearly all his evaluation of our scriptures and our doctrines is criticism. Pointing out supposed error, couched in great gentleness and kindness. Then comes the teaching, planting a seed of doubt and moving on singing a siren song under the guise of kindness and respect. I'm also having a lot of individuals who have been leaving the Latter-day Saint Church who were pretty much resigned just to agnosticism or atheism, who have, by watching Hell of Saints, realize that one can have a relationship with Jesus outside of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And that's critically important who have been leaving the Latter-day Saint Church, who have, by watching Hell of Saints, realized that one can have a relationship with Jesus outside of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And that's critically important. Take Jeff's original conversation with Greg Metz in comparing our doctrines. It was a refreshing, straightforward video. A genuine, respectful comparison of beliefs. Why then follow up with a live stream teaching the evangelical perspective on all these doctrines? Jeff had already expressed them quite clearly to Greg. It was to teach, to evangelize. And of course, Jeff's appeal is similar in the sense that he's speaking the language of evangelical Christianity, but he's not demonizing us. He's nice. He's respectful. He's interested. He's concerned. He's like, I want to understand you, and I want you to understand me. I want to understand your faith, and I want you to understand my faith. We're building bridges here. And it's, it's, uh, it's really attractive. And part of it is just, it's just nice to, to listen to somebody who's not a Latter-day Saint who doesn't think we're devils from hell. I believe the man is 100% sincere, but I have to tell you, having been in evangelical Christianity my entire adult life for 47 years, and having been exposed a good deal of that time to the anti-cult movement, you know, having read books like The Kingdom of the Cults by Walter Martin and listened to all these kinds of tapes and stuff, there's a culture and a general idea in evangelical Christianity that this is how you reach people that are involved in cults. You be really nice. You don't challenge them. You don't attack their, their off doctrines. You, you pretend to give them an honest listen. And the whole goal is to engage the people that are trapped in the false religion into a warm, ongoing conversation where you build uh, a relationship of mutual trust and they gradually grow to like you and respect you and give a certain credibility to what you say and and you don't you don't go after them what you do is you engage them in an ongoing warm conversation and you drop a little seed of the truth in your own eyes what, what you think is true you give them a little seed of the true gospel here and a little seed of the true gospel there and your faith can become their faith. Pastor Jeff 
seems like a Pied Piper carefully leading unsuspecting saints away step by step from the restored gospel. He's following the method of reaching cult members. First build relationships, then reclaim them gradually. And I'm going to read to you what Pastor Jeff said to it in this video that he just put out entitled, Past This is my honest reason capital letters honest this is my honest reason for exploring mormonism okay and you tell me if you think he's building a bridge i think it's pretty clear he's building off ramps for you <laughs> not a bridge he's building off ramps man off the covenant path into evangelical christianity it couldn't be done any more attractively it couldn't be done by a nicer person it couldn't be done by anybody more sincere. He's lovely, man. And, and I don't believe he's malicious one bit. He honestly believes, any sincere evangelical Christian pastor honestly believes that they are doing God a great service to present the true Jesus Christ. If there's any way they can present the true Jesus Christ and the true gospel to people that they believe have a false gospel. Let's hear what Pastor Jeff said, okay? But most importantly, now listen, listen to this. this is, these are his key words. This is why he's doing what he's doing, in his own words. Most importantly, I will continue to drive an understanding and share what I understand, driving an understanding of Jesus that is rooted in truth. That's the why behind Hello Saints. But most importantly, I'm going to continue to drive an understanding and sharing what I understand so that we can drive at an understanding of Jesus that's rooted in truth. That's the why behind Hello Saints. So his whole purpose is to drive into you his understanding of Jesus, which according to his own understanding is the Jesus, the understanding of Jesus that's rooted in truth. Many ask him this question straight out in the comments, and he has not once disavowed it. Instead, it seems he plays with words, walking the narrow path of technically honest conversation that avoids clear revelation of larger intentions. If we were to leave our faith, leave our church, we would want somebody to approach us openly, not under guise of friendship and cover of darkness. You're listening to somebody who, who honestly, their, their faith is very much at odds with ours. Their, their faith, and he doesn't express this because it would make what he's doing unworkable. But his faith is that Latter-day Saints have a different Jesus. They have a different gospel. They're almost certainly not really saved. You, you know, but he doesn't come out and say that like evangelicals mm -hmm. will do because that would make it impossible for him to do what he's doing. He says his motto is fight criticism with curiosity. Perhaps he started out this way. Now it is clear that he does not follow his own motto. It seems rather than be curious, he's more interested in correction. When he watches videos of President Nelson, Elder Holland, he listens and then corrects them. That point. I'm feeling a little preachy, if I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm sorry, but preachers be preaching. President Nelson, Elder Holland, of the Apostolic Authority. Pastor Jeff, as much as we love him, does not. A pastor who has degrees in theology, has graduated from a seminary, despite whatever great knowledge he feels he has, does not have the priesthood authority of God. He does not have more authority than an apostle or a prophet. He does not speak for the Lord, he speaks for himself. By divine mandate, we have no paid clergy, yet Pastor Jeff appears to be cultivating his own flock of Latter-day Saints, being paid by them via YouTube's algorithm and by Patreon. The pastor's channel has been so successful, he has quit his traditional assignment and moved to Utah to expand the Hello Saints ministry. It has led to a major decision for me and my family. Just recently, in the summer of 2023, we have relocated out to Utah. He's confident enough that he can make a living off Hello Saints 
from Latter-day Saint cliques and evangelical and Latter-day Saint donors. So then let's talk about ways that you can be involved. First of all, through giving, through giving, working to raise funds for 2024 so that we can continue in full-time production ministry with Hello Saint through giving and to grow a production and ministry team so that we can really scale our efforts at Hello Creative. Somehow we find ourselves where we never thought we would be, funding a paid Protestant minister to teach Latter-day Saints. Why would he do this? To make friends with the Latter-day Saints? Or to save them? Pastor Jeff has told other podcasters that he felt a call to start Hello Saints. And throughout 2021, the Lord just began to stir in my heart this idea called Hello Saints. Which what is this call? Is it a call to befriend and understand saints? Would his fellow pastors allow such a thing? Or does he feel it a call to minister to them? Evangelical Protestants routinely demonize the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. They say we are a cult. They say we are not true Christians. And they regularly and routinely demonize us to one another in conversation and to their congregations. They say that we do not believe in the same Jesus, that we do not believe in the same gospel. Pastor Jeff has claimed many times that he has heard very little of us and that evangelical Protestants really don't pay much attention to Mormons. We know the truth is somewhat different. Certainly they do not understand us, but we do know that they regularly warn one another about us. In 47 years in evangelical Christianity, I never heard one positive word spoken about the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I heard them slandered and participated in slanderous, dismissive discussions about Mormons probably several hundred times over a period of almost half a century. And I never heard one person raise a voice in defense and say, no, they believe in Jesus. What's our problem? They believe in the Jesus that died for our... I never heard anybody raise a voice to say anything other than they were utterly disqualified. They weren't Christians. They had a different God, a different Jesus. They did all this weird stuff. They, they did all this weird stuff in their temples. It, you know, just just slanderous. I mean, now it's obvious. It's the most... The restoration is the most beautiful thing on earth. It's no wonder that we are suspicious. It's no wonder that we feel hurt. It's no wonder that many of us look at what Pastor Jeff is doing with doubt and even suspicion. There are many wounds. For over two centuries, Protestants have looked down upon Latter-day Saints, have demonized them, and treated them in unchristlike ways. We hope this time is different. We aren't sure that it is. Latter-day Saints, for their entire history, the language of evangelical Christianity is the Bible says. And for 190 years, whenever Latter-day Saints heard the Bible says, they were going to get hit upside the head with a, with a Bible two by four by some Christian. The Bible says there's only one God. You people are just demons. As Latter-day Saints, we have been so eager to find acceptance that we just loved it when Pastor Jeff extended the olive branch. Some of us were even hoping that he may feel the spirit and join our church. Many of us understood that he would not. If Pastor Jeff does indeed simply want to befriend Latter-day Saints, to build bridges of understanding, to have respectful dialogue between us, then we invite him to return to the original goals of his channel, to fight criticism with curiosity, and to leave off evangelizing us and simply understand us. We love Pastor Jeff. His friendships with Latter-day Saint podcasters seem good and genuine. The pastor is obviously a good man with a good heart. He loves the Lord, he loves his family, and we welcome his friendship honestly given. We all believe he wants to do what's right. It also seems that he's chosen the wrong method to evangelize Latter-day Saints. Sowing seeds of doubt is never the way to go. If he is here to evangelize us, then he is going about it the wrong way. Nobody will get you off the covenant path if you give your full attention to, I'm paraphrasing here, listening to the words of the prophet, 
getting in the middle and staying there, repenting daily and feasting on the words of your apostolic and prophetic leaders and on the words of Christ who teach you the Jesus that actually builds his church on the foundation of apostles and prophets. And that's the voice that you have to listen to to stay on there. You know, I'm not saying anything against Pastor Jeff's heart. What a wonderful man. He's obviously as sincere as a human being can be. And he's about as nice as it gets, man. But his Jesus, his, like he says, I'm going to read his words again. He says, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. Most importantly, I can continue to drive an understanding. Who's he driving this understanding into? You. Don't kid yourself. He's doing it. A drip of water wearing away the stone of your faith, the drip of water and time, and you becoming more and more trusting and in love with him and listening to him more and more, a drip of water and time, he's driving into you an understanding and sharing his understanding of Jesus that from his point of view is rooted in truth. And he would only say that implicitly his understanding to him is rooted in truth and yours isn't. But because his production values are great, his personality is incredibly attractive, he's really nice, he's really sincere, he knows his stuff. You fall in love with this man and listen to him on a regular basis? He's building an off-ramp in your heart and soul off of the covenant path. That's exactly what he is doing. Even if he's doing it deliberately, which personally I think he is, He's doing it with incredible wisdom and patience and discretion that is really admirable. There's not a bit of malice in it because he actually believes in what he's doing and he believes that he's going, doing God's service. But all this, you know what it does? It makes him, he's probably the most dangerous evangelist of the Mormons on the entire internet that the internet will ever see. Is it wise to present your soul, your heart and soul, your open ears, your open mind, and your admiration and your liking to a man whose goal is to drive an understanding of the Lord Jesus Christ into you that he believes, he honestly believes, is rooted in truth, but we know it's not? Is that, is that wisdom? <laughs> it's not wisdom to me. You know, we all have free will. But I'll never listen to another minute of him. Why spend our time looking at someone who doubts our beliefs? Someone who does not have a testimony of the restoration? When we can be feeding our souls with words of modern prophets. From the Book of Mormon. From General Conference. From Latter-day Saints scholars. Who know the beautiful treasure that we possess. Pastor Jeff's videos are not edifying. They may be interesting but they are not edifying. My friend, we have the restored gospel of Jesus Christ. We have what was lost from the original church. We know it from the Holy Ghost, who testifies for the Father in Jesus Christ. We have what modern Christianity does not have and does not understand, that we have what they lost. Remember the power and truth of the Book of Mormon how the Book of Mormon and the Bible come together to form a powerful testimony of God and Jesus Christ. Remember that we know that Joseph Smith was a true prophet of God. We have modern prophets whom the Lord has called to speak for him. Whether by my voice or the voice of my servants, it is the same. Stand firm in testimony of the restoration. Stand firm the testimony of the apostolic authority. Stand firm in the testimony of Christ. With love, stand firm, saints. Thanks for watching.